Hello guys, um, I know it's been like, you know, three or four days, I guess. <clears throat> it's, uh, Monday, right before Borderlands 2, and uh, if you're watching this, hopefully you're just about as geared up as I am for it. Um, so, obviously, considering I'm only on, as you can see, my plot mission, Fighting Sledge, I'm not gonna get through the whole game by, uh, uh today. Um... But despite Borderlands 2 coming out, I will finish this game eventually. It may take me a while, but I will. I think after it comes out, I'll try and release a video at least every uh, week. And by a video, I mean play for an hour or two and see how many I get. Excuse me. Well, here we go. Okay. Move my computer a little bit closer. So what are we on? We're looking for the journals. It's really quiet. Is that even in my ear? Hang on a sec. There we go. Okay, I think it's fine. And I'll post some links. Oh. We may need to take that. Um, and if you guys are interested for Borderlands 2, I'll post link, or, I was gonna say, I'll post some links. I'll just post the one link, um, you can go to the Borderlands 2 official website, and you can find the four, conf like, not really confirmed classes, but the four classes that are ready. Um, the Gunzerker, Siren, Assassin, and Commando. And you can spend all of the 40, I think it's 47 skill points. Um, on their skill tree while advancing throughout the levels. Just so you can get a general idea of how it will progress. So, it's pretty fun trying to mess with it. But like the Gun Zerker, he's just got so many skills. I spent, uh, when I was going through it, I attempted to get all of uh, his skills in one skill tree. I was still down by like three points. So I'm pretty sure I just got this SMG at the end of the last one. It seems to be working out pretty well. I suppose I'm happy with it. And I think the shotgun's new too. Don't ask me why I came this way, because I really don't know. So, I think I'm trying to level up. If I remember correctly. What do we have in the way of quests? Yeah, so like, as you can see here, you know, it's like 5, 10, 20, 35 points per tree. And then that. So, you know, you spend like 36 points, so I guess you hit level 41. No. 42. Because one of the skill points you have to use on that. Once you're level 42 with this, in this game, you max out one of the skill trees. But in Borderlands 2, you hit level 50 and you're not even done one. Is this the next one? No. That's one of them. Uh, I guess it's not the right one, though. I really should have grabbed a car. Oh, okay, well, we'll go see what Shep Sanders wants. I know it hit the fan. I won't change the color. Enough walking. Enough walking. Whee! Wait. Why you get rid of my quest? Oh yeah, the other one's down here. Right next to where I found the gate key, I think. Or near it, at least. Did I get all the turbines while I was down here? I did not. Awesome. So I got this journal. I got the turbine. Oh man. Not level 9s. 
Whatever will I do? Behold the power of the shotgun. Yeah, I just found my uh, Battlefield 3. I was looking for it and I finally found it last night and I got all the uh, uh, DLCs for it because I got the seasons, or the, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Not Premiere, uh, Premium, when I got the game. And, uh, so I was entitled to it. I think it was like three gigs by the time it was done. And so I was playing that last night, pretty much all night tonight. I guess I started this at like nine almost, so. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I will post a link to that skill tree thing if you're curious. Sometimes it's fun to just walk into these places and start killing everyone. Especially when I don't even have to worry about dying. Maybe I'll pop out the revolver. Bam. I really don't think it hurt that much, Lilith. Oh yeah, and they did actually come out with a name. I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, the new class that the pre-ordered people get for free, the um, Necromancer. She's like a Necromancer, but for robots. And they do have a name. Her, uh, her name is uh, Gage. G-A-I-G-E. I love blowing people up by touching them. I mean, it's more it's less of a touching them and more of a touching them when I come out of an alternate dimension, but... I'm still touching them. Oh yeah, and um, the pre-order package I got, I got like the, the first collector's edition, because I didn't... Ooh! Oh no. I didn't know there were two. And apparently there were two. The one I got's the cheaper one, like the hundred dollar one. And uh, I got a Marcus bobblehead, like a, a life size one, which you know, life size bobblehead isn't overly big. But if you spend like fifty bucks more, you get uh, one of these weapon chests. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than thirty-six hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dig site, only to be ambushed by local wildlife hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive, or killed by skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name was Carl. My emotions are deadened, and I grieve for none of them. Point of fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because his chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair, and then... I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks in the daytime. <sighs> <clears throat> so there you go. Tannis was going slightly crazy. I don't remember where I parked my car. So. I'm just taking the Heel Toe Express. What was I playing the other day? I couldn't get the uh, weapon swap to work. Oh, I was playing Bulletstorm. I don't know if it's because there's something wrong with my mouse wheel, because it's working fine now. Or if there's something wrong with the game, or I'm doing it wrong, but it doesn't give me the option to change that in the controls. And I'm pretty sure it was a weird one, like you held down a button and then went left, up, or right. Uh, I just got a new shield. Nope. 
There we go. And this one should be the uh, thingy up here. There we go. Day 119. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting, considering we haven't had water for days. I equate my ever-decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns at the site, we finally unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. But this celebration was lonely, as I only have two colleagues left. And I'm not too fond of the fat girl, Shimei. I've been told that scientific discovery requires sacrifice, but I never understood what they meant until now. Yeah, so she's slowly going crazy and blah blah blah. You'll see her later on in the game. Let's just say that. Hi. really can't get Borderlands 2 off my mind. Oh, I don't want to do the scavenger mission. You're not gonna cook me. Oh, I missed that shot. I like getting headshots with revolvers. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, look at that. It's actually not too terribly bad. How does it compare to the other one I had, though? Do I still have it? Or did I sell it? Yeah. 49.74. Wow, this looks very similar. And 48. 49. Other than that, now nah, the one I have still better. Okay, looks like I gotta drop some equipment. Ah, uh, attack at the low frame rate. Why am I carrying that? Why am I carrying those? I think I'll re-equip the machine gun. Nope, I didn't want to put that there. Oh, is that why? Because it was slow there. Be slightly more powerful though. <laughs> Boom, done. I love knowing where all this stuff is. Even though I hate scavenger quests, <clears throat> especially one of them in the dull headlands. And I like that clicking two buttons kills two people. Oh boy. I didn't even stir them up. Come 
I love having low frame rate. It makes me feel so good. Day 172. The fat girl, Shimei, was crushed under an alien ruin that collapsed today. She didn't die right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. I hesitated because she was the last one alive that wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction, which I imagined to be a conversation, as I knew it was the last I would have for a while. I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research. I could tell that she regretted the decision. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight. So there's a conclusion to her video diary, or um, audio diaries. Wait, isn't that one of my challenges? Get a little blood on the tires? Or did I already complete it? I probably already completed it. I really don't know. Nor do I really care. Hopefully this will put me up to uh, level 17, and then we will take down Sledge. But yeah, I'm not even that fine. Combat rifle's actually not terrible. I don't know, I've never been a huge fan of combat rifles, but I'm willing to give this one a try. And these skags are not a good idea because I can touch them and kill them. Touch of death! What? Judge of death. What? Judge of death. Judge of death. Touch. We'll touch you and kill you. You're dead. What? Judge of death. Okay. Let's test it on this guy. Oh, sweet! It's a single fire. Is it? No. Um. Yeah, that's three bullets. How fast is that fire rate? My God. 15 is a ridiculous fire rate. Plus all my percentages. Give me a second to calculate it. Because that's plus 25%. It's 25% of 15. Well, half would be 7.5. So, 3 point... 3.75? So, yeah, it's at 18.75. That's its fire rate right now. My god, this is ridiculous. All right, looks like we're going on a fight sledge. Goodbye, car. Touch yeah. of death. So as it turns out, we're at about 19 and a half minutes. Um, I think I might stock up on my ammo and start up a new episode. Definitely seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do something with it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.